Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book, The New Strategist, a creation by Guillo 104 Enter, Ma 104 Waller Stewens. The New Strategist 2020 is a practical handbook for business leaders on executing effective strategies. It offers insights into the day-to-day -day implementation of strategy within a company, highlights the essential skills required by strategic leaders, and presents various tools that aid in their decision-making process. Additionally, it delves into the need for strategists to adapt to a dynamic world and provides guiding principles to foster their success as leaders. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Geo One Forhunter, MO One Faller Stewens, is a retired professor of management at the University of St. Gallen, where he formerly served as the executive director of the Institute of Management and Strategy. He is the founder of the M&A Review Journal and sits on the editorial boards of multiple publications. Additionally, he advises various international companies and works as a consultant and trainer. Mo Wand Fawler Stewens has authored several notable publications, including Radical Business Model Transformation and The Management of Luxury. This summary of The New Strategist is published with the permission of Kogan Page. With seven key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on storyplane.net. To start, the text is highlighting the importance of learning and implementing the practice of being a successful strategist instead of just focusing on the theoretical aspects. In today's business world, leaders need strategic leadership skills to navigate constant major changes. This includes developing and implementing strategies that respond to changing conditions. Financial literacy, data crunching and marketing are important, but strategic leadership brings these skills together. The responsibilities of a strategist include guiding companies in a new world order with new responsibilities. Maximizing profit is no longer the only purpose of a business. Advisors and specialists differ in their approach to strategy. Strategists and architects have commonalities in their roles. Key idea number one. Today's strategists are required to go beyond profit and consider values and meaning. Companies today have to consider values and meaning, not just profit. People expect social responsibility and companies must reflect that in their strategy. The purpose of companies should be to serve people and provide meaning and vision. Companies like Google and Lego are successful because they fulfill their employees' desire for meaning. Strategists should optimize the benefit created by the company in line with these values. Stakeholder management is a useful approach to determine priorities and responsibilities of the company. Key idea number two. Having a unified corporate strategy is crucial for the long-term success and sustainability of a business. In modern companies, strategic responsibilities are spread across various positions, such as CEOs, board members, CFOs, CTOs, and strategists. However, the problem arises when the overall corporate strategy is simply the sum of individual strategies. A unified corporate strategy is crucial for sustainable business. Corporate strategy determines where a company should compete and how it will create value. Developing an externally focused strategy is important considering changes in the social and economic environment. Trends don't last forever and new opportunities can arise from their opposite. Additionally, corporate strategy involves developing a holistic business concept that aligns different parts of the company and provides direction for future development. It is essential to align the organizational structure and management systems with the corporate strategy to ensure consistency and effective functioning. Key idea number three. The chief strategy officer plays a crucial role in driving strategic business development. The chief strategy officer, CSO, is a crucial role in a company, responsible for developing and implementing strategic plans and driving business development. CSOs have diverse responsibilities, including creating strategies, 
conducting competitor and market analysis, managing initiatives, developing the business portfolio and supporting mergers and acquisitions. They also play a key role in shaping the company's philosophy and values. There are four types of CSOs, advisor, specialist, coach and implementer. Each type has unique strengths and can be effective depending on the company's context and needs. Key idea number four, the strategy department is the central hub for strategy work in a company. The importance of strategy departments within companies is recognized, but defining their success can be difficult. The key role of a strategy department is to coordinate all strategic activities within the company and keep things transparent to benefit the entire company. To achieve this, social integration, content integration and functional leadership are crucial areas to focus on. Social integration enables cooperation and ensures trust and openness. Content integration creates a common understanding of strategy and objectives. Functional leadership involves future-focused activity, trend identification and clear justification of decisions. A networked and interactive strategy department can better serve the company and be recognized for its value. Key idea number five. Strategic leaders play a crucial role in shaping a profitable and successful future for the organization. The National Swiss Railway was in search of a new head of strategy who could handle a diverse range of responsibilities. The key message is that strategic leaders help organizations develop a profitable future. Strategic leaders deal with value generation and ensure the company stays profitable by understanding external pressures. Strategic leadership is a social and political activity that involves creating a community of colleagues who work towards common goals. The model of strategic leadership competency is a tool that evaluates someone's capabilities as a strategic leader. One essential quality is the ability to provide strategic direction. Understanding customers and integrating the wider context are also important for high-level performance. Key idea number six, using the right tools is crucial for effective strategic work. Strategic work requires the right tools, just like building a house or making a chair. There are process tools which are similar to hammers and wrenches and strategic initiatives which are like power tools for bigger projects. Different processes can be used for strategic planning depending on the situation. Strategic initiatives are interventions that create momentum for change and are useful in uncertain conditions. They increase flexibility and can have immediate impact. For example, Lufthansa implemented a strategic initiative after 9-11, which helped them avoid bankruptcy and generate additional cash flow. Key idea number seven, strategists should adopt modern approaches. Blockbuster video failed to adapt to changing times and was replaced by companies like Netflix. This serves as a reminder that strategists need to be modern and adapt to new business models. Traditional businesses like banks and bookshops are also struggling as online alternatives take over. Strategy is more necessary than ever, but strategists need to change with the times. They must be involved in the organization's daily life, create dialogue with stakeholders and be the interface between groups. Strategists are responsible for designing and continually improving the future. In conclusion, the key points in the text are In the face of business environment change, strategy and the role of strategists need to be rethought. Strategists should be leaders who collaborate with all departments. They should be architects of the future, adapting to change and fulfilling responsibilities to stakeholders. If you want more advice on strategy, read Strategy Safari, to learn about different approaches and how to formulate the strategy for your business. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on storyplanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on storyplanet.net.